what is going on my guys i hope you're having a wonderful day because i am living a dream today i'm here in monte carlo monaco we're here for the electric grand prix that's right formula e is racing today and we came to see it we're going to focus right now on what makes formula e so important to us and why electric cars are so necessary for all of us which are motorsport lovers and especially for those of us who are earth lovers because if we want to keep this planet we need to focus on this right now but anyways i want you to also know that we're going to be following the driver jose maria lopez because we need an in if you're going to get into a motorsport you always got to root for someone and jose maria is obviously a, a hispanic guy so i gotta go with him he's from argentina so we're going to be supporting him full blown and if you want to follow him on his social media here it is on the description down below either way today i'm going to make one of my dreams come true and i'm going to participate in an event where they're going to put me down on the track right here in monaco it's not the same setup as other grand prix the difference and the ability and advantage that formula e has over everyone is the cars are quiet so you can basically take over different parts of different cities around the world and make them yours because no one's going to complain about the noise so that's amazing i'm not going to bore you anymore let's go have some fun and uh, let's get to know Formula E a little bit more. What do you say? Let's let's do this. right here is the microlino but micro i swear to god the name is amazing and this is the reason why electrics need to make it to the mainstream because it's finally getting affordable to create any type of car these guys were focusing more on mobility around small cities which is epic you get to have a car like this that is simple it's basic they get to partner up with a maker and they just create as many units as they need to it's becoming really affordable to get your own car made and also for those people who want to get into an electric car you know maybe they want to go green maybe they don't want to pay so much for gas it's just easier this one for example has two battery setups so for the range you're going to get about 75 miles on the smaller one and 140 miles on the larger one so it's pretty good affordable and it's charming as shit just look at it Formula E so important is how the technology trickles down from these cars that we're seeing every day how they're beating their batteries and putting them through the test in the most insane conditions ever and putting that technology and all of that experience into production cars for the street right now we're looking at the new Audi e-tron which is a medium-sized SUV and also Jag has another one the I-Pace which is another medium-sized SUV and the reason why they're going with the medium-sized SUV is because that's the car that fits everywhere and SUVs are actually the best-selling cars for everyone and when when you make them a medium-sized SUV that means you can bring it to Europe you can bring it to the US and people will buy them instead of just focusing on the smaller cars like before like BMW did with the i3 the electric smart car now we're seeing these technologies evolve and go into that space and that's just the start that's why Formula E is so important for us <laughs> All right, so before the race, we got an opportunity to walk around the pits. And it's kind of surreal that there's no noise. There's no one working on the cars. You don't hear a lot of things. The cars are actually just sitting there charging. It's kind of surreal being here and not hearing the zing, zing and everything. The cars actually don't really have that many parts because it's a battery already made, right? And the battery motors are already put together. So there's not really a lot of moving pieces that are going to be altered, changing, modifying, adjusting, nothing. In insanity this is another world guys this is a complete different world i like it i really like it
about to start, we're walking on the grid right before the start. And honestly, it's so quiet in here. I don't understand how they can mentally be there because I it would make me even more nervous than if there was like the normal noise that you would hear at an indie event or F1 event. And the acceleration is actually really, really bananas compared to the actual streetcar. Whoa! You're going so close to the walls. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Thank you. Gracias. Enjoy it? <laughs> yes! Oh, awesome. How was it? Uh, nice. Awesome, dude. The race has already started and Jose Maria better kick some ass. Thank you everyone for your support, for voting for him and for boosting him up. I'm gonna get a drink. I'm out of here, my nerves are up here. The Formula E Grand Prix is like no other. It's a very inviting race for people to get into motorsports. Everything takes place the same day, practice, qualifying, and the race itself. For starters, the race lasts less than an hour. This particular race in Monaco only had 45 laps. Oh, lock up from Berline, he's thrown it away. Berline goes straight on at Sandebot and up into second place now goes Oliver Rowland. This is the second generation of the race cars by Spark. That's the company that makes them. Which means all cars can finish an entire race on a single run without charging in between or swapping cars. But there is also strategy to it. You can run out of juice if you aren't careful and that will end your race. Massa's only got 1% left, Jack. Massa's on 1% of usable energy, all right, Dario. Massa might not make it to the end of the E-Pre. Also, there is a lot more contact than in any other Grand Prix. Oh, rally outside, slam! Slam, bam, and that's Degrassi out. Oh, so, Degrassi's car's in all kinds of trouble. Yeah, the race is over for Left Degrassi. Left front suspension damage. And the way that the Formula E team films it and broadcasts the show is on a whole different level. There's cameras all over the cars providing you with angles that you've never seen before. Oh, that's wide from Alexander Sims. Little bit of a mistake, and Lin is right on the back of him. Here comes the Jaguar. It was a BMW around the outside the Costa, right, right. Oh, what a move from the Costa. Absolutely fantastic. It's like a mixture between racing and video games in real life. For example, before and about five minutes into the race, you can vote for your favorite driver to give him a boost. That literally means you can make your driver go faster during short periods of time, according to how much fan support he's getting. There is even attack zones on the track where if the driver goes over them, you'll get a boosting speed there too. The or tires that are puncture, I think, or damaged. Also, and most importantly, we can have all these fun without destroying our Earth. Towards the final corner they come. Crunching into the back. Verline goes for it, he can't do it. Vern comes out of the final corner. The streak is over. Vern wins for the second time this season in Formula E. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is only getting more lit. We got Nico Rosberg on the channel. Nico, Formula One champion, and now turning to a massive mogul. This mogul right here. No, 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 no. This is not easy, man. 
man. Congratulations on everything you're doing. He's an investor in Formula E. He's an investor in Remark. You're a visionary, man. How how did that transition from Formula One happen to this? Well, thanks a lot. First of all, hi, hi to all of you. Super fan of Salomon Grid. This one, yeah, right? Salomon Grid. And uh, what was the change? I forgot. <laughs> how was the change? I got it. I got it. I got it. What was the change? I got it. I got it. Formula One, of course, super exciting, but I, I, I achieved everything I wanted to do. Win that championship. Yes. So for me, it was an awesome cut to end there. And now, new life, a lot of investment, formerly, for example, which I'm really proud of because it's going like from strength to strength. It's pretty impressive. These are, goosebumps, yeah, These are goosebumps, my friend. These are goosebumps. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. It was a great race, no? Oh, it was an incredible race. It's so exciting, so interactive with everyone. The fans get a lot of input into the race, which is crazy. It's like a video game that we're living in real life. Yeah. As you guys go, more of the youth is gonna jump into racing just for that. And also, it's great for the environment. It's amazing technology that is passing forward onto the cars. Man, my God, I'm so happy for you. This is a very big lesson, I think, for everyone that's watching, because life doesn't end in one big goal. You don't reach your peak and then go, oh, that's that's it, that's my life. You were Except world. Your Salomon, huh? <laughs> Get out of here. You don't go, I'm world champion, and then that's it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. You went, I'm world champion, and then I'm gonna go take over everything else that's in, in the motorsport world in the new modern way. And that's incredible, man. You're showing people honestly that dreams can come true and that not just one dream is achievable. That you can keep rolling and rolling. And that's what I admire about you the most. That's true. What is it Gary Player said? The more you hustle in life, the luckier you get. That's absolutely true. I mean, it's not luck. It's just called being ready for the opportunity and hitting it when it's open. Hey, congratulations for everything. Thanks, it's great to be on the channel. Thank subscribe hey, subscribe uh, to Nico's channel, please. He's right here down below, so don't forget that. Nico Rosberg, ladies and gentlemen, holy crap. Right, good to see you. Enjoy the rest of the channel and the video. Bye bye. Wow. After spending my whole weekend with Formula E and seeing all of their efforts to promote clean energy, I just can't keep my arms crossed anymore. I love the earth and as cheesy as it sounds, it's our home and it's the only one we have. And I know it's in my hands to make a difference no matter how small. I decided to not just talk about change, but also to apply it to my daily life. I've made a personal commitment to change all of my cars to electric. And I know this is not going to happen overnight, but this is what I got so far. Number one, I've ordered a Rivian SUV that is getting here in 2020. That's gonna be my electric SUV. I'll be selling my Navigator and my Golf pickup truck immediately. I'm also gonna get a Tesla Roadster whenever they hit the streets as my everyday supercar, if you can actually call it that. At some point within the next 12 months, I'm gonna get rid of my Raptor S. And as soon as my Rolls Royce lease is up, I'm gonna do everything I can to find another luxury equivalent of an electric car for it and I'll only allow myself to have one gas-powered car, which is probably gonna be my hypercar in the garage. I know it's not gonna be 100% clean, but that's a start for me. I care too much about animals and I love Earth so much that I can't just stand still. And all of us can make a difference every day. It doesn't have to be a radical change in lifestyle, but if we take it one step at a time, eventually, we'll get there. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah